tutorial for TX Text Control. This video shows you how to use the document viewer to digitally sign a document and export it as a PDF. First, in Visual Studio, we will create a new ASP.NET Core MVC web application in .NET 8. Then we will add the NuGet packages of TX Text Control that will be available when the 30-day trial version of TX Text Control is downloaded and installed. Select Text Control Offline Packages as the package source and install the ASP.SDK package and the Document Viewer package. Packages automatically add the license to the project and copy all required files when deploying a project. Now create a new folder called Documents. We will use the Windows sample application TX Words to create a document to be signed. The same interface is also available as a browser-based document editor. A document to be used for signature collection should contain one or more signature fields with a specific name. The fields can be positioned anywhere in the document like images or text frames. Once the document is created, we save it in the Created Documents folder in the internal TX text control format. You could also use Office Open XML Doc X, the binary doc format, or the RTF format. Now it's time to add the document viewer to a view. Open the view and home folder and find the index view. Double click the view and remove the existing code. Add a using statement to include the document viewer. Now you can add the HTML helper to the view that is rendering the document viewer. In the constructor, we pass a settings object that loads the created document and also contains the required signature settings, such as the owner name and signer name. In addition, the redirect URL after signature property defines an endpoint that will be called with the signature data when the user successfully signs the document. Finally, we need to define the signature boxes by passing the name of the signature box we specified when designing the document. The next step is to create an HTTP POST endpoint in a new controller named Signature Controller. For demonstration purposes, we will copy and paste the required code into the controller. The method is called Handle Signature, and that already tells you what the method does. Upon successful signing by the end user, the document viewer forwards all signature details to the specified endpoint. This includes document data, custom signature data, form fields, signature images, biometric signature data, and signature fields for further custom processing. A non-UI server text control class is created that loads the signed document. A certificate is loaded as a PFX file, but it can also be loaded from a certificate store or other locations. For each signature field in the signed document, a digital signature with the attached certificate is created. The document is then exported as a PDF document with all signature fields electronically and digitally signed. The app underscore data folder will then contain the resulting PDF document. Created documents can be exported to a byte array to be stored in a database or as files. We need to create this destination folder in Solution Explorer. Let us briefly review the workflow of the digital signature process. The user signs all fields and clicks Submit. At this point, the document viewer forwards the signature images and biometric data to a created endpoint. The endpoint takes the data and applies a digital certificate. It then exports the document as a PDF. Enough theory, let's compile and run the application. You see the viewer. It prompts the user to sign the document. The signature representation can be drawn, typed, or uploaded as an image. Once the signature is set up, the fields can be signed. After the user is done and clicks Submit, our custom controller code is executed to create the signed PDF document. Open the file location to see if the document has been created. And there it is, the signed.pdf document. Double-click the file to open it in Adobe Acrobat Reader. You can see the signed signature field, and if you click on it, it will give you information about the validity of the signature field. You can find this and tons of other tutorials on our website, www.textcontrol.com, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and happy coding.